Welcome to a Web Center Portal demonstration by Team Informatics. Today we'll be talking about the setup of Web Center Portal and exploring the simple process for creating new portals enabled by the Portal Builder feature. As of version 11G patch set 7, after installation, Web Center Portal organizes itself into two main branches, the Home Portal and the Portal Builder. The Home Portal is where users have access to their profile, available portals, portal templates, and documents and can customize certain elements of their own view of the home portal. Users can also create personal pages in the home portal, and system administrators can expose system pages and business role pages to selected audiences. While the home portal is interesting, the portal builder will be our focus for today. Portal builder comprises the portal creation, editing, and administration areas of Web Center Portal. In portal builder, you can create a portal, add and edit pages of the portal in the page editor, also known as composer, and administer a single portal as the portal owner. In addition, the system administrator has access to the portal builder administration area that allows for administering all portals. Let's take a look at portal builder in action, creating a new portal. Here we see the administrator logged into the home portal. Our task today is to rapidly create a small portal to relate information and spur discussion on the team informatics soccer team. Using Portal Builder, we'll engage the Create a Portal process to get us started. Our first task is to select a portal template. Web Center Portal comes out of the box with several templates, each with fairly unique design and functionality goals. You can select from a template here, copy and customize a provided template, or develop and upload your own. For now, we'll select the simplest template, the basic portal. Once a template is selected, Portal Builder allows you to easily create a page hierarchy with simple notation. Plus symbols indicate depth beneath the previous page. And this notation allows you to assign a portal system page to create enhanced functionality. Let's add some pages so we can get the info out about the team. When we're done, just click Create Portal. This is the default layout for this template, and I have to say, I'm not a fan of this one. Let's select a different template. Personally, I'd like one with a side navigation instead of a top navigation. Let's try this one. Hmm, not my favorite either. Okay. How about this one? Ah, much better. I like that. It looks like we missed a page for the team's schedule of games. Let's go back into the Portal Builder administration and add a new page to our portal. Here we see our portal hierarchy. Let's add the new page, which will actually be a link since we're linking to a system asset. Just add the link, choose the page, and position it in the hierarchy. Before we can take a look though, we'll need to activate the service this page provides to the portal. Switch over to the Tools and Services page check to activate that service, and then configure any settings we need. For events, let's add two categories of events to discriminate between home games and away games. There, now let's take a look. Perfect. Now the next piece is that I know several team members will be accessing this portal from their company iPhones. After some testing, users have indicated that while this layout is preferred for desktops, when viewing from an iPhone, a layout where the side navigation can be toggled is preferred. Let's tell Web Center Portal to do this. We access the Portal Builder settings, find our device group, and simply dictate which layout is to be used if the viewing device is identified. Let's make sure this is working properly. When on your page, engage Composer and just click on the device preview to see the page as if from that device. Great, this is working exactly how we want. Our final task is to dictate who has elevated permissions to this portal so that they can manage the content on the pages. Let's head back to administration and this time head to security. First, we see all of the preset roles that each portal comes with. Now, we'll add a user to the moderator role so that they can manage pages, create and delete content, and generally manage this portal as they see fit. There. 
Now, since this is a public portal, we need to make sure that authenticated users can participate in the collaborative services like discussions. We modify the permissions for the authenticated user role like so. Let's log out as the admin and log in as the moderator, since for the moment, they're all me. Excellent. This user has access to the portal administration functions and can engage Composer. Now we just need to add our content and the portal is ready to be announced. That's it. We hope you found this demonstration of the portal builder functionality of Web Center Portal to be helpful and interesting. We here at Team are very excited for the progress and evolution of the portal platform. If you'd like a more detailed demonstration or to discuss how the Web Center applications can evolve your business, please contact us. We're here to help. Thank you.